So I've gotten a few questions on my Blender to Unity export process. How it works is that you basically select, your, select a bunch of things in Blender, uh, hit export, and then open up Unity, and bam, they're already there. They've got their materials uh, assigned to the correct material. And how this basically works is on the Blender side, you have a lovely plugin called FBX Bundle. It's by a guy called uh, Render HJS. And yeah, it basically lets you select a folder to export to. You have to do a little bit of setup, like uh, you have to change the scene length to be metric in units. And you have to just say, hey, I want to bundle by the parent object. I want to include children. It will export um, if you have like an object that's parented to another object, it will handle that. But um, if you have like a too deep hierarchy, it might have issues. Uh, you also can't do like animated characters. Um, but I normally use this just for exporting all of my like Blender objects, basically. And yeah, so basically whenever you select a bunch of objects, it'll come up with like a preview of all the things you're going to export. You can also kind of put it down to one tiny list. And there's a few other things you can do, like you can set modifiers, you can... <laughs> this is my favorite feature, even though uh, I don't really find it too useful. You can draw little fences around the things you're going to export. Yeah, and then whenever you click export, it will basically export those out to your Unity folder or whatever you, folder you've got selected. So in this case, I've got like a models folder that just has all of my models together. So I'll have all the links to Render HCS's plugin on uh, on the video description. For Blender 2.8, um, there is a bit of an issue because I don't think his plugin's out yet, but I think somebody else has released a fix for it. So I'll see if I can find that as well. So on the Unity side of things, I'm using what's called a asset post-processor. And what this basically is, is whenever you select a model that you're importing, you have all your import options come up in the inspector. And what a asset processor basically lets you do is to set any of these kind of variables that you would normally set manually um, yourself through a script. So whenever you import or re-import an object, um, this script will go ahead and check it and automatically set certain um, import options for you. So in this case, we're just setting the material import mode um, the location, so where it's looking for the material, and we're just saying, hey, check everywhere in our project. And I've also got a couple of filters here for um, which file extensions you might want to check, because obviously you might want to have different um, op uh, different import options or different file extensions, or for files that are named a certain way, you could also implement that. So yeah, for some non-technical people, this is just like a tiny script that basically sets these options that you have here um, automatically for you. Uh, for technical people, I've also included a different way of doing it that basically says like, hey, we don't want to import any materials at all, and we want to look in specific folders and assign a material to the prefab that we would normally create on import. And the reason why I've included this is because if you have a giant project, uh, searching anywhere might be problematic just because it would take a long time. Um, but I have quite a large project already, and personally, using this method, I actually haven't really seen much slowdown compared to just uh, manually checking certain folders. So yeah, uh, I'll leave a link to that script in the description below. Um, the only additional thing I do in Blender is I like to have these little uh, Blender text objects that kind of let me like write in little uh, areas of things. I tried using different layers to organize this mess, but honestly, uh, I kind of prefer having it in one one big open space. The only um, problem you ever run into is if you hit A to select all, and you have this many <laughs> this many objects, uh, you might freeze up Blender for a second or two. Um, and yeah, then I just border it with like a little tiny mesh. You could probably use a line object, but uh, I'm lazy, so I just keep using a mesh. So yeah, that's pretty much my entire Blender Unity export process and all the organization that goes within it. I hope that helped. Um, I've noticed as well my YouTube comments. Uh, YouTube doesn't always tell me about the YouTube comments. I thought it, it was notifying me every time somebody commented, but I checked on some of my old videos and I noticed uh, some comments that I had not seen. Um, so I'm going to be checking the YouTube videos manually more often, so hopefully I can pick up on, on little questions that people have. I hope that helped, and um, yeah. Have a good development.